Good morning, everyone. Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. Uh, I'm at my house this morning and I wanted to talk about uh, why you may want to consider upgrading from uh, analog BNC security cameras to IP cameras. I recently upgraded my home system here uh, from coax cable BNC based system uh, to uh, CAT5, actually I installed CAT6, uh, network IP system. So uh, I just want to go through the thought process of why I did this and then uh, me and the guys at work, the thought process we go through in helping customers determine does it make sense to upgrade uh, a legacy analog uh, system uh, to HD over coax by replacing the cameras and the recorder so that you can go from old analog resolution to uh, 2 megapixel, 4 megapixel or 4K resolution BNC cameras or does it make sense to make a bigger investment and replace all your cable with network cable, uh, either CAT5 or CAT6, and install IP cameras? So, why did I upgrade my home system? Uh, there's two reasons, uh, one big reason and, and one smaller reason. The main reason why I wanted to upgrade my system from the BNC cameras to network IP and specifically Viewtron IP cameras with AI uh, is the artificial intelligence software functions built into these new AI cameras. So uh, basically the, the people detection, the car detection, the software that you get in these new IP cameras uh, is a lot better and a lot different than uh, old analog cameras, uh, even including the latest HD over coax. Uh, these Viewtron IP cameras are really a game changer. So, uh, but, uh, but installing new cable is a big investment and, and getting 4K resolution out of BNC cameras or even four megapixel resolution is a huge upgrade. So there, there's some trade-offs. It's, it, it's not an easy decision because the cable uh, replacing the cable is often a bigger investment than replacing the cameras and the recorders. So if it's really important to you uh, to get this AI software on your system, and again, the main thing being uh, human object detection, facial recognition, uh, vehicle detection, using that instead of the traditional way of doing things, which is through video motion, basically detecting when there's pixel movement from those types of objects and, and the, the, the system doesn't know what type of object it is, it just knows there's movement. So there's a lot of false positives. Uh, but with the AI software, there's, there's, there's little or no false positives. The, the, the human detection that I've been testing out here at my house, I set up an intrusion zone out front to detect when people enter my yard and my driveway late at night uh, has been, you know, 99.9% .9 accurate. Whereas, uh, as you know, if you've dealt with uh, video motion, there's tons of false positives, especially in an outdoor environment. So the first reason to consider upgrading is the software. So some customers ask, well, we noticed you have Viewtron hybrid DVRs that do both. You can have BNC cameras and you can have IP cameras. So isn't that the best of both worlds? Shouldn't I just go with that? I can leverage my uh, coax infrastructure and then upgrade to uh, the AI IP cameras in certain areas or just replace the cable here and there. Well, Unfortunately, and the problem is the hybrid Viewtron DVRs, the ones that handle both BNC cameras and IP cameras, the chip in them is not the same. So while they can handle 4K resolution IP cameras and BNC cameras, they can't do the artificial intelligence software operations. So you don't get the AI object detection, license plate recognition, and all those other functions on the IP cameras when you're using a Viewtron hybrid DVR NVR. You have to go with the pure NVR, the one that only handles IP cameras in order to get the AI functions. Uh, why? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I know immediately everyone's gonna ask why, and I would too. Um, the reason is this. So, uh, you know, these processors can only handle so much on these DVRs. And, and with a hybrid system, it needs to balance out uh, video over coax, 
which is a certain type of processing, and then video over IP, which is another. Um, and, and the hybrid systems cannot do the AI software functions, okay? Um, other people might ask, well, why can't the BNC cameras do it? Uh, the reason is, it's, it's kind of a symbiotic relationship between these IP cameras and the recorder. The AI software is actually running on both. So, so IP cameras, unlike BNC cameras, they have a, a full-blown microprocessor on them, uh, just like a computer, like your laptop. They are full-blown computers, so they run software. In order to perform these intense AI functions, uh, it's a software function of both the camera and the NVR. So both have to work in conjunction. And so therefore you need the IP camera and the pure Vutron NVR to perform those functions. So uh, sorry for the long winded answer. The short answer is in order to do the AI functions, you need the Vutron AI IP camera and the pure Vutron NVR. You can't use the hybrid DVR, which will work with the IP camera for the video, but it just won't perform the AI functions. The second reason why I upgraded, and this is a smaller reason for me, really this, for me it was all about the AI software, which is game changing in my opinion. Um, the recording rate on the Vutron NVRs, the ones that only handle the IP cameras, you can record up to 4K resolution at 30 frames a second with these. Whereas on the hybrid DVR NVRs, um, you have to lower the frame rate on 4K cameras down to eight frames a second. So reason number one to consider upgrading from uh, coax infrastructure and BNC cameras to network IP cameras when it comes to Vutron is the AI software. Um, the second reason is the higher recording frame rate, full 30 frames per second recording up to 4K resolution. Um, if you want to learn more about this, uh, if you're still considering uh, the two, and by the way, if you're installing a new system and you don't have any cable in place, it's a no brainer. Install CAT6 cable or CAT5 cable and go with the PoE. Uh, actually, that's another reason to go with the purebred uh, NVR system. The Vutron NVRs have built in PoE. So when you run your CAT5 cable back to the recorder, you just plug it into one of the ports of the NVR and that provides both power and connectivity. Whereas the Vutron hybrid DVRs, they don't have built-in uh, uh, ethernet ports and you're not plugging the cameras into the NVR. You're plugging those into a network uh, 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 PoE switch. Uh, so another piece of equipment is required there. So that actually, that's a, that's a third reason to consider going pure Vutron IP cameras. Uh, anyways, this video has turned out a little longer than I expected, but it, it's a kind of a complicated question, so we cover a lot of material. If you have any questions about any of this, you can email me anytime at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. If you want to learn more about Vutron IP cameras and all these considerations between upgrading from BNC to IP, uh, I'm going to put this video on our blog along with links to a bunch of other videos that show demonstrations of the AI software. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll link down below to these other videos. On our blog, you can visit uh, www.cctvcamerapros.com slash bnc-ip. Thank you for watching.